Hey guys, and welcome back for the more. Oh, this is fantastic. Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2. Let's see if this guy's gonna be nice or if he's gonna bully me. Oh, he's ready. Last episode, we defeated the Executioner's Chariot and joined a couple of covenants. This episode, we're about to teach this guy who's. Oh, he is not ready for the madness. Oh, buddy, no, no, no. Jump attacks are not the way. I just tried to do a jump attack after I was telling him no. <sighs> I was talking all that shit. All that shit I was talking just to get wrecked. And this. Oh, yeah, by the way, the death screen is exceptionally long, so your enemies can just absolutely troll you. This episode of Dark Souls, we're going to be going the other path, exploring the rest of Huntsman's Copes, and fighting the other boss of this area. And maybe fighting off some more invaders, because I feel like I need to get my get back for that. <laughs> All right, so heading on through here. Gonna just clear out the uh, area. Of, I, I think we already went the Yeah, we went this way when we did Executioner. So you guys pretty much already know what's going on here. I did equip Heavenly Thunder. However, I don't have a Chime or a Talisman to really use it yet. So we're gonna hold off on that. Fortunately, if we had it, probably would have been really helpful in that fight right there it's gonna be really helpful in this boss fight but again i really don't have the tools required to uh to use it this guy's annoying he just runs he literally just runs you kill him you get some repair powder which is pretty helpful pretty good item yeah, let's plunge down i don't know how i didn't plunge down on him but we head in here, and you get Soul Spear. Now, this is a fantastic spell for intelligence builds. If you got the, I think it's 40 intelligence to use this right now, it will carry you throughout the main portion of the game. It is one of the most iconic spells in Dark Souls. It's a staple to every single intelligence build. Oh, and here we get some Sublime Bone Dust for our Estus. Pretty handy. All right, head down here. Let's run back around. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Right, let's take care of this guy before he ambushes us. And we're going to head in here. Believe we're going to get ambushed. Guess we're going to worry about that after we pull the lever. Someone ambushes us. Yep, there it is. Ah, there it is. There's a dog, and you should not be coming up to me with a bow, good sir. Alright, that lowers the bridge. And in there is a bonfire, however, it's locked away, so we can't do anything about that yet. So we got two ways to go, through the cave and through the uh, side path. We're going to go through the cave. So in this cave, find a magic mace, and you'll also find these pots uh, filled with cursed energy that will curse you over time. You just want to roll into them and break them. Once you break them, they are done they won't hurt you anymore it's all fine these skeletons will continue to revive until you kill if i can go over here i think he's over here is he not over here he's not over here that is a damn shame there he is over there until you kill the necromancer just like in the uh the executioner boss fight all right him being slain let us playing Pretty dangerously with our hell. Oh my, hello. <laughs> Alright, cool. 
We got flame butterfly. We're gonna destroy that. We're gonna destroy you. And we're gonna continue onward. I think this is where, yeah, this is where we gotta turn around here because there's a gate here. Did you see there's a crystal bug there and there's an item there. I don't think Buddy's nice enough to. Is he gonna? I don't know if he's gonna open it or not. It looks like he want. I don't know what he's doing. We're just gonna forget about him. He's he's in a trance right now. We're just gonna go outside, get some fresh air, and go this way. This kind of just puts you a little bit farther ahead. So you're not really missing anything. Get rid of him. That was a really unfortunate miss. That was a good double kill, though. Here, you'll pick up some flame butterflies. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Why? Because I don't take prisoners. Get some prisoner's gloves, though. And a life gem. Excellent. Here are some poison arrows. The best kind of arrows. Gonna keep on pushing forward. Actually, I think we want to go back. Yeah, let's head back. Let's go that way first. Yeah, because we gotta get up. There's a secret hurt third way. <laughs> Heard. Amber heard. There's a secret third way we gotta go, so I guess we're just gonna sneak up on the ambush. They, these guys are supposed to ambush us, but we ambush them because we're just good like that. Okay, we're, we're not worrying about that. <laughs> you head up here, though. You'll be invaded by Merciless Rowanna. Dark Spirit. How did that miss? Whatever. Trick with her, just kind of get up in her face. Don't let her get the spacing on you with the Reaper. And you'll be good to go. See, does like no damage. Invader Banish, what did we get? Priestess Robe. I don't think that's that good of a Fashion Souls item. Uh, where is it? I just want to see. Oh. You know, that's kind of cool. I kind of like the Hexers more, though. Yeah, I like the Hexers a lot more, though. All right, from there, we get the Undead Lockaway Key. That will open up the way of the locked gate. So before we go there, though... Oh, that's unfortunate. That's a lot of damage. We are, however, gonna go around this way and go behind the waterfall because this is a video game and behind waterfalls are secrets. But we're gonna continue going around the waterfall and that's gonna put us back into the cave. From here, we are gonna rush this guy here. That's going to get rid of the Necromancy, and now we are able to have free reign of destroying everything here. GG's. Let's get a good, good jump right there for a human effigy. A lot of bleed arrows and some prison stones. Alright, and we head up through here. I think, yeah, the crystal bug is already gone, which that's unfortunate. We're actually going to rest at that bonfire now up there. I wasn't going to, but that crystal bug is, it's a really good one. Saw so we got an Estus shard here. They're really starting to throw them on us. All right, let's run back to that bonfire. Hey there, mister. Dark Orb's tracking is just, it's so nice. So we got the bonfire, but more importantly, there's a man sitting here. I actually, first time playing this game, I completely missed this guy. I didn't even see him sitting there. Who are you? I thought you were that bastard for a moment. You've set me free. 
Now I can find him. The cheeky prick. He won't know what hit him. I am Creighton of Mira. I travel from land to land to hone my blade. I've heard this land was full of danger. I thought it would suit me perfectly. I joined forces with a man on the way, but he was no more than a backstabbing knave. He took the first chance he had to try and off me. I decided to set a trap for him here. But then I got trapped myself. I can't believe that I was so dense. Thank the stars that you came along. You be careful of him. Pate, I think he said. He wears this rather unusual ring. You know it when you see it. I've seen his type before. He kills entirely for the pleasure of it. I'm sure I won't be his last victim. The man's better off dead. I tell ya. He's a slick talker. So don't let him fool ya. Pate. The man with a strange ring. Watch out for the slimy rat. And don't you believe a word he says. I'll find a common foot bed and put an end to his roguery. <laughs> And with that, we're at a crossroads. If you guys don't remember, Pate is the guy at the beginning of the game that gave us the white sign soapstone. Which you would think he's a friend because he gave us such a valuable item. But you also gotta remember that gate shut right behind us after we um, went in. He did help us with the lost giant though, so I guess we're just gonna have to see how things play out before we rush to any conclusions. However, though, I'm gonna get... Ow. Hey, wow, now I really look like a hide knight. Got an arrow through the head. I am gonna get that dark, or that crystal lizard, though. Perfect, and here you can actually summon Creighton. We're gonna go ahead and summon him just for funsies. And this is why I wanted to kill that list. You get one of each Titanite um, tier, which is really good. We can actually plus seven our height sword right now, which is pretty OP for this early in the game, I think. But we might do it because I plan on using this weapon for a good portion of the game. Ow, 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 ow. Please stop. Alright, heading onward, we are back at the boss fog. Dun, 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 dun. Fortunately, we do not have our heavenly thunder like I wanted to, but we should be fine regardless. Going in, we are met with the skeleton lords. Three skeletons variety, with variety of weapons. Not too hard of a fight though, as you see they don't do a ton of damage and they're pretty weak. So what's with the large HP bar? Well when you defeat one any day now, it'll split off into a bunch of smaller skeletons. You have three different kinds. You're gonna have these kinds that are like the big broody skeletons. You also will have the small skeletons like the ones you found in the cave. And then, of course, everyone's favorite bone wheel skeletons. But I will say bone wheel skeletons have been severely nerfed in Dark Souls 2. So people may complain about nerfs to NPCs making the game easier, but nobody liked bone wheel skeletons. So I think we can, we can let that one pass. I'm going to just go ahead and wreck this guy. I'm not too afraid of dealing with the yeah, skeleton, so we can probably get rid of most of them. Ceiling. Uh, a bunch of lightning from the ceiling dropping down. Ow, 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 ow. So much pain. Uh, in the lightning, or in the water, it's... Jesus, leave me alone. 
and the water is going to conduct, which basically just turns the whole water into a um, electric field. Okay, you're going to die because apparently you just cannot get away from me. You're dead, and... I think as you see, though... Actually, you know, I think it's going to equal out pretty good. Yeah. And there we have it. Mob boss defeated. All right, heading onward through here. Gonna drop another bridge. And we're gonna wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and go. Dun, 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 dun. Heading up through here. We have the ladder. By the way, point of no return. Be a real shame if there was like a bonfire or something we could just teleport from right here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the point of no return is pretty trivialized when you have bonfires. And as you can see there, there's a whole lot of goodies to get. But first, let's talk to this girl. Are you a traveler? I'm Cloanne. An ore stone trader. I travel about collecting rare stones, which I sell to make my living. I never planned to visit this God's forsaken place. But I don't know. I just sort of ended up here. I must have just wandered in. <laughs> but now that I'm here, I've been scouting around for rare bits. Oh, don't look at me like that. Many of these stones are quite useful. For instance, certain stones are used in smithing. Ah, oh, now your ears prick up. <laughs> I've extras if you can pay. This is my trade after all. <laughs> so, Clo Cloen, I, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Right here, she doesn't really sell a whole lot. However, you I keep came on here talking in search to her. Of rare stones, but the place is nothing like I was told. All this poison, and you can't get very far inside. Don't just go haplessly wandering about. These stones may look all the same, but to the trained eye, each is unique. Some of them are used to smith weapons and armor, and some unique stones provide special benefits. Some of them are extremely rare and should be used with great thrift. None of the differences are easily spotted, but I've learned quite a lot, really. <laughs> Drang Lake. How is it that I ended up here? It's funny. I can't seem to remember. I've searched every nook and cranny here. I suppose it's time to move on. Perhaps we'll meet again if we live that long. <laughs> I've searched back. All right, I've once you get that um, set of dialogue, she will move back to Majula. So we are actually going to follow her. However, we are going to make a stop back at um, the refugee bonfire and go talk to Falcon real quick. Because now that we have souls, we could buy a couple of things that I want. Because right now, before we continue on our journey, I want to make a couple of upgrades to our character. So first off with Falcon, I want to buy the Chaos Rapier. I want to buy the Archdrake Chime, and I believe that's all I need from you. We'll buy Dark Weapon just for shits and giggles. Come again. Da. Secondly, back to Majula. 
lied because Chloe doesn't have a expansion in her shop yet. We are gonna go straight to McDuff. Why? Because first off, we are gonna make this Hide Knight Sword plus seven. Secondly, we're gonna take our Chaos Rapier and we are gonna upgrade it as far as we can, which is plus three for right now. We can't use it yet, but we will be able to soon. Thirdly, we want to infuse our weapon. Now, we got a bolt stone from doing the um, the Dino and Tillo uh, little side quest exchange thingy. And to do this, or doing this will get us stones that we can use to enhance our weapons. So much like the fire sword, we can use a bolt stone on the hide stone, or hide sword and make a lightning hide knight sword which will give it more electric damage less physical damage and make it scale more in our faith stat don't think we have a fire yeah we don't have a fire drake stone for the chaos rapier as you can see the chaos rapier is going to be dealing fire damage this is going to be our fire long sword replacement however with that we've made some pretty good upgrades i'm going to go ahead and put that on the second slot because even though we can't use it Actually, no, I'm going to take it off for now because we can't use it. It's just going to get me killed. I am, however. Actually, I'm not going to do that. It's just not upgraded. All right, no, we're good for what it is. I have less upgrades than I thought I was going to have. But that's the end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to be going farther into Harvest Valley. Going back to Poison Pool. Getting all those items. Exploring that area. And seeing what it has to offer for us. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next time.